Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at Adobe Presenter. Adobe Presenter is a plugin to Microsoft PowerPoint that turns static PowerPoint slides into self-running, on-demand e-learning content. Adobe Presenter enables you to quickly record some narration over those slides, add video, create a quiz to test a user's understanding, and then publish that self-running presentation either to Adobe Connect or locally so that you can put it on a web server. Let's take a look at the Adobe Presenter toolbar. Again, because this is a plugin, it's not a standalone application. To access Adobe Presenter's features, I've opened Microsoft PowerPoint and clicked on the Adobe Presenter menu. And here I'm able to do a number of things. The first icon in the Adobe Presenter toolbar allows me to record some narration, turning my static PowerPoint slides into an on-demand presentation. Once it's checked my microphone levels, Adobe Presenter will automatically launch the PowerPoint slides in slideshow mode with the option here to press the record button to record my narration. Before I do that though, I can click this show script button to bring up any of the speaker notes that I've already added to the slides. I'm going to go ahead and click on record audio. This is going to start recording my narration, recording my voice, and I can synchronize that narration with any of the animations on the slide by clicking on this animation button. Once all four animations are available on this slide, this button turns into a next slide button, and I can click that to continue recording my audio over the additional slides in this presentation. I'm going to go ahead and stop my audio recording right here and save the changes that I've just made. I'm going to close the audio recording dialog box to show you that I can also import existing audio. If I've got some MP3 files that I want to use that I've created in a different application, I can record those. I can further synchronize the animations and the slide transitions with my audio. If I was just doing it roughly while I was recording it, I can go in and refine those synchronizations. And I can also make basic edits to the audio. This is incredibly powerful, yet very, very simple to use. I can go and zoom in to uh, see all of the different audio that I've made. I can select certain portions, perhaps remove all the ums and the ahs that may have been added to the recording as I was doing it live and simply go ahead and delete those. I can add silence. I can create something that's very professional to listen to. Once I've done making those edits, I'll click the Save button to save those changes. In addition to adding audio, I can also add video by clicking on this Record button, second in on the Adobe Presenter toolbar. This Record button records both your screen as well as your webcam, and it does it at the same time. In fact, it opens up a standalone application that you can run standalone outside of Microsoft PowerPoint and the Adobe Presenter toolbar. Once I hit Record, and before I do that, I'm going to mute my audio so that we don't interfere with the current recording. Um, it'll record both my screen as well as the webcam, and it will record them both at the same time. So as a presenter, I don't need to worry about switching back and forth between them. It's going to give me a quick countdown, then it's going to record, in this case, my PowerPoint slides. I can go through those same PowerPoint slides, but I don't actually have to remain in PowerPoint. I could be sharing literally anything, web browser, whatever application I'd like, and it's going to record all of that in full motion video. When I'm done, I'm going to click the shortcut key to end that video. And Adobe Presenter is going to create a published version of this. Now, to edit this, I can switch between those two different views, actually four different views. Let me go ahead and play this. I've got the webcam view as the default. I can switch to the screen share view by clicking on the screen share button. But I can also click on these two blue buttons to switch between the screen share and the webcam at the same time. So a very professional looking output from a video creator that's brand new in Adobe Presenter 8. In addition to creating my video, I can also add existing videos or flash files if I've got them. You'll see there's a video drop down here that allows me to import a video. Adobe Presenter will automatically take care of converting it to the right format. I can make basic edits to those videos, as you can see here under the drop down, or add a Flash Swift file and manage all of the Flash Swift files we've got. You'll also notice that we can record an application simulation, and these buttons might be grayed out for you if you're not also using Adobe Captivate 6 or later. This launches a version of Adobe Captivate to record your screen and then automatically imports it back into your presentation slides. Adobe Presenter 8 also added a number of characters, scenes, and interactions 
that can be loaded into your PowerPoint content. And this helps e-learning authors create much more engaging courses. For example, I can go ahead and click on the Scenes button, choose between a number of different scenes, both uh, graphic as well as photographic, uh, both office themes, medical themes, whatever the case may be. Let me go ahead and select one here. And this beautiful high resolution artwork is automatically put into my presentation. I can do the same thing with characters. And Adobe Presenter ships with a number of different characters for business, casual, medicine. Select a medicine one here. We've also got links on all of these to other resources where you can download additional scenes and additional characters to insert into your PowerPoint content. When you're creating e-learning content, it's important to be able to test the understanding of those who are accessing the content. And for that reason, we've added a very robust quiz management section into Adobe Presenter. This quiz manager allows me to add multiple quizzes if I'd like. I've got a number of different question types that I can use. Multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank, short answer, matching, even a rating scale. Questions can be graded, in other words, they've got a right or a wrong answer, or survey questions with no specific right or wrong answer, you're just looking for feedback. I can also add question groups, and this gives me the ability to create pools of different questions. I might have 10 questions on each of the different topics I'd like to ask my students about, and I'll have Adobe Presenter randomly select three of those 10 different questions. So that means that no two students will necessarily see the exact same questions on their quiz. I can also do things like shuffle the questions, shuffle the answers that you'd see in a multiple choice question, just to randomize everything and make sure that cheating becomes more difficult. There are also a number of different reporting options. By default here, I want to send all of my reporting information back to my Adobe Connect server, but if customers are using an LMS, Adobe Presenter supports both the AICC and SCORM formats as well. When an Adobe Presenter presentation is published, it looks something like this. I've got a play bar on the bottom with which I can control the navigation. I've also got a sidebar. This sidebar contains the outline of the entire presentation, so I can see all of the titles for each of my slides and quickly navigate to a title. I've got thumbnails for all of the different slides included in the presentation. The notes appear by default and automatically incorporate all of the speaker notes that are added to the PowerPoint presentation and I've also got the ability to search through the presentation. I've muted this presentation, but you can see that this is a nice self-running on-demand presentation, and we can actually affect the way it looks. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and go back to PowerPoint. And inside of PowerPoint, I've got the ability to create a theme for my presentation. Now, there are a number of out-of-the-box themes. You can see that the one we're using for this particular presentation is pretty gray so that the focus is on the content itself. But I can select a different theme from out of the box, a chalkboard for that uh, chalkboard feel, club orange if you want something a little brighter, pea soup. I can also create my own themes, adjusting the colors down here in the appearance section and decide what should show up for the end users. Again, by default, we're including things like the outline, thumbnails, notes, and search. But if I don't want to include my speaker notes, I can very quickly turn those off by selecting this checkbox. I can also decide what information should show up about the presenter. I can include a photo and a logo, some bio information if I'd like, or I can turn that off if I prefer not to show it at all. Once I've set all of my themes and I'm happy with the way my presentation runs and I'm happy with the quiz, I can publish it. And Adobe Presenter gives me several options to publish the presentation. Usually I want to upload the presentation to an Adobe Connect server. And this works with our training module to ensure that all of that reporting data is tracked using Adobe Connect Training. I can also publish it locally to my computer. This will create a zip file on my computer. And I can also upload it manually to a website. These are just HTML and Flash files after all. If I want to distribute it locally, I've also got the ability to create a PDF document. This will actually create a single page PDF with a self-running flash object inside of it that goes through the presentation. And it looks identical to the way it would look if you were viewing it online. That's a quick look at Adobe Presenter. Thanks for your time.